Hey guys, Tasha, I'm on my prepping. So today I just wanted to come on really quick. I was, um, I've been going, going, going this whole week and I wanted to come on and just share a small list with you of things that I started thinking about. So this week there was a prep. It's going to be a, probably be the number one thing I say. So basically it, we thought about this prep. We have this prep, but we were like, oh no, we need some more because we need some here. We need one here. We need one here. That type of thing. Okay. And what it did was it made me think about other preps, right? And other forgotten preps, right? And it, and it it made me think about another situation that I was talking to with somebody about one of these preps on here and just getting in order all the things. So it's very overwhelming, right? Get food, get water, get all this stuff. But there's some, there's some very important preps that I don't want you guys to forget about. So we're just going to go over them. This is just 10 easy forgotten preps, okay? And these are ones that I work on. And like I said, this number one was fire extinguishers. So fire extinguishers was something that we have. And we started thinking about our safety plan. We started thinking about our different kits, different things that we have in different places, different locations. And we were like, wow, we need more of those. So that is a forgotten prep is fire extinguishers. Do not sleep on a good fire extinguisher. One, I think every family should have one of these in their home, just at least one for safety purposes, somewhere near the kitchen, preferably. Um, but obviously I'm not an expert. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, but we realized that because they sell much smaller ones that we needed some more in some different locations. And so that's what we're going to do. So a forgotten prep is fire extinguishers. Okay. So get your fire extinguishers. It could save your house, you guys. So I think it's worth the investment of getting some fire extinguishers. Okay, the next one's pet pee, baby water. So all types of people, they prep water to the rafters. They do all this stuff. They have all this cool gear. You know, they got all this cool stuff, right? All this food, they're ready, right? But they forget water. Like it is 100% a forgotten prep. And it's one of those preps that some preppers understand how important it is, and yet they still don't prep it. And and maybe it's because it's hard, and you got to get containers and stuff. I don't know, but they got you got to get on board, okay? Water, you will die without it, okay? So forgot prep water. Um, number three, car kit. So I know a lot of people that have just awesome bug out bags awesome EDC kits, which is an everyday carry kit. They got get home bags. They got all this stuff, right? They got all these kits in their home. They're organized. They do all this stuff, but they don't have a car kit. And when I say a car kit, I'm talking about in regards to prepping. So you should have something in um, the realm of what's your safety stuff, right? Stuff for the car that every car should have in it, right? So like, um, jumper cables, fix a flat, you know, fi um, the seatbelt cutter, the window breaker, you know, simple everyday car safety stuff, right? A flare. You should have um, certain things in your car. Just if you're just, you know, a normal person, I guess, and not a crazy prepper. I don't know, but there's certain things you should have <laughs> in the car if you didn't know that. Um, and then there's things that just a basic kit that has some basic survival stuff in it so that if you had to flee your home, it would make it a little bit easier, okay? Even worse, if it's a longer situation and you had to like travel cross country where you're having to sleep in the car, you need to have some sort of um, low level, some food, some water, some basics in the car. So that's what I'm talking about, a car kit. A lot of people sleep on that. They do not have that. Um, and it's like, well, you're planning to bug out and you have this bag, but you don't have, you haven't utilized your car at all. You, you haven't prepared your car to be able to travel possibly and go somewhere far. So just your car. Okay. Car kit. Number four is medicine. People, again, we prep all these medical kits and I have a, a, a bleed stop kit and I can, I can, I have a suture kit where I can suture wounds and like all this fancy medical supplies, medical kits but they don't prep the medicine, okay? So you've got to prep your everyday over-the-counter medicines, your cold medicines, okay? Your pain medicines, your inflammation medicines, your, um, you know, your burn creams, your insect creams, your Pepto-Bismol, your heartburn, your, your toothache medicine, your earache medicine, like all those things that are over-the-counter that you can buy for different things, remedy different things, don't forget that you need the medicines. Okay. Yes. It's great if you can do some of the functions that are required if somebody gets hurt, but 
you really need those medicines to help you, okay? Antibiotics, things like that, okay? Number five is comms. So again, this is a huge prep. Even preppers, huge hole where a lot of preppers don't have some sort of communication, right? I'm not talking about just the walkie-talkies to be able to talk to um, maybe your neighbors or something and have like a small network. I'm talking about like a receiving radio to get information. There's a lot of folks in... Um, this country that don't have a basic AM FM receiving radio where they can get information like all they have is their phone and they're like if if their phone or their tablet goes down and they don't have a way to communicate like they they're going to be stuck in the water and not even know what's going on so a receiving radio and then some other communications figure out how you're going to talk to people is it a CB radio is it a ham radio how are you going to talk to your family is it a gotenna like how are you going to talk to people and specific people not don't just get a cb radio or a ham radio uh, first of all a ham radio you have to have an a license to to run it okay but once you get that license don't just have that and not use it and start communicating pe with people now you know if you get a cb radio try to reach out and talk to people see if you can tune in on any kind of um stations can can you tune in on some sort of um, um police you know scanner situation where you could just at least listen to what's going on in your community so don't just get the stuff first of all the number one mistake is not getting anything and then two you get it and you don't like work it and try it out and figure out how it works okay that is important and it's a forgotten prep preppers forget communications okay even the best all right six is something very very simple spices so don't forget to prep your salts your seasonings different things that that you know you like in your food okay we know we like onions and garlic okay so i keep a lot of dehydrated and i dry a lot of that stuff because it, it brings flavor to food okay so seasonings are the same thing okay we're gonna go from a time where we're getting a lot of stuff that's pre-made has salt and, and seasonings and, and stuff in it to a time where we're just cooking the raw form food okay so you're gonna want seasonings okay and some of these seasonings like salt has so many uses that are going to be beneficial for you that you're going to need okay and number seven is pest controls so your mouse traps your ant spray your bug sprays your anything that has to do with like pest control if there's something you're using now let's say for your garden stock up on that stock up on mouse traps and other little traps okay um yeah maybe you don't have a problem now but when you do get that problem and you don't have anything to handle it and the world has gone crazy that's going to be a pain okay and you're going to have to be figuring out how you're going to control that so don't sleep on uh, forgotten prep is pest controls and um, mouse traps. Mouse traps are not even that expensive. You can get mouse traps at the dollar store, at Walmart. They're like a dollar, two dollars. And don't sleep on the little cheap, simple ones. I mean, they get the job done. I've I've used them for years. The the very very cheap ones at Dollar Tree. You have to be a little bit careful because they're a little bit more, you know, hair trigger. <laughs> okay, but get your mouse traps, uh, even the cheap ones. And don't forget your pest controls, okay? Number eight is emergency toilet. So another pet peeve, people forget how um, to prep for if the toilet system does not work and it's backed up or it just doesn't work. How are you going to go to the bathroom? And I think a lot of people just think, oh, I'll go outside. They just don't really think it through. They don't think about what they would do to collect it, to get rid of it, to dispose of it. Um, and that's going to make life very difficult. And the, the, the most important thing is that all types of disease start happening when people cannot control um, bio waste like that and, and we're being haphazard with it, okay? So get your toilet situation, figure out what you're going to do for an emergency toilet. I did a video and I'll link it in the description box, but you need to be thinking what you guys are going to do and get that stuff and because it's a forgotten prep, okay? People forget all the time. Number nine is pets. People forget to prep for their pets, okay? Cats, dogs, birds, Whatever pets you have, if they're farm animals, whatever pet animals you have, prepping for them, prepping the food. If you're prepping cases of canned food for you, you should be prepping canned cases of food for the dog or the cat, okay? You should be prepping cat litter. You should be thinking a long term when that stuff's not available, how you would feed that animal, okay? Um, think about stuff long term. The toilet situation we just talked about. How would you do that with your animals, okay? 
Do you not have the litter for the cat? Let's say you ran out of litter. How would you do the cat situation? How would you take the dog outside if people are throwing their feces everywhere and now you're walking your dog through that trying to have them do their business, okay? Just be thinking stuff through, okay? And then the last one is 10 is tarps. Um, don't, don't sleep on a good tarp or plastic paper. You can get rolls of plastic wrap, okay? Which can be used, that and tarps can be used for a multiple, um, a multiple amount of things okay so do not that's like a that's like if you go on any channel probably in these 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 guys that are talking about you know this is a survival gear you must have this stuff this is must have non-food preps guaranteed tarps is going to be on there it's just one of those very versatile items that can be used for so many things and so it's very very smart investment to get tarp. I mean, something as simple as a tarp, you can make a makeshift bathroom or makeshift shower outside. You can, um, if you have any sort of burst pipes or you're leaking in your house, you can, you know, put that, a window breaks, you can um, put it up to shelter that. You can make a shelter outside with it. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, on the uses for tarps and, and plastic, that plastic wrap, you know, you can make a makeshift um, gr greenhouse with that. Okay. You can use it for camping and sleeping on. Okay. There's just a ton of stuff that you can use tarps for. So it's, it's a very good material that is very, very durable and strong and can be used for a lot of stuff. So it is a forgotten prep, um, that I think is very, very important. And if you don't have it in your preps yet, you need to get it in your preps. Okay. So that's just a list, a really quick list that I just came up with. I was, like I said, I was thinking about fire extinguishers and I was thinking like, man, that's kind of a forgotten prep that people don't really talk about or think about. And then it got me thinking about other stuff that maybe I don't hear people um, talking about. Some of this stuff is pet peeves that I know that there's a lot of people that don't talk about it or don't handle it. So it is what it is. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these 10 items. If you have items that you think are kind of quirky or things that, that preppers or, or anybody tend to forget that you think is just super, super important, just put it in the comments so that we can all learn from each other. Um, I got the, um, this is the way, okay? There is no other way, y'all, except prepping. Prepping is the way. So get it done. Do what you got to do. Blessings from my bear cave to yours, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.